Good morning, everyone. So today I thought I would do a discharge test on this rather new Harbor Freight Thunderbolt Edge AA battery. I've seen a, a few reviews on YouTube, but I haven't seen any actual discharge tests. So this battery claims that it, uh, you know, for certain applications, digital camera, you can see that it supposedly beats the Duracell, uh, personal grooming, electronic games, you know, digital audio is about the same. But what we're gonna do today is a discharge test and we're gonna use the PowerX and I think this model here is the MHC9000. And this particular uh, model I seem to have lost my focus here for some reason. This particular model uh, has a discharge feature. So, and you can set the uh, discharge amperage. So these batteries typically hold somewhere around 1500 to 2000 uh, milliamp hours. So I'm probably gonna set the discharge rate to 300 milliamps, which is not too high and not too low. And, and it should give us a good average of of how these batteries discharge. Uh, I could probably run a few tests, you know, with them maybe at 500 milliamps, but 300 milliamps might, might give us the best um, idea of how much capacity these batteries hold. So what I have here is a, a door cell. I think the, if you look there, the expiration on these are March, 2027. That's actually been sitting, I think, for a few years uh, stored in a cool, uh, cooler area. And these are relatively new. I think I bought these a few months ago. And I also bought Harbor Freight's uh, rechargeable line. And it claims that it actually has 2200 milliamp hours. So uh, what we'll try to do here is a test and compare these batteries against each other. So we have the Thunderbolt rechargeable, which is not, you know, I probably shouldn't be comparing rechargeables against uh, alkaline batteries, but again, I just wanted to put four batteries in the charger and give you an idea. And I also went out and bought the dollar store version of the alkaline batteries. This is the Sunbeam. And uh, I'm gonna just show you a little bit on the back of that. So there's the model number, item number right there. And uh, what I was hoping to do here was uh, maybe do a voltage check with each one before we actually start. And I might have a little bit of a problem because I only have one hand here, but we'll see if we can get it done. So we'll start out with the uh, Harbor, I'm sorry, this is the, not the Harbor Freight, but this here is the dollar store. So you can see it's sitting at 1.6 volts. Fully charged battery. All right, then let's see if we can grab the Thunderbolt rechargeable. Try to do that with one hand. Okay, so we're sitting at 1.3. The 1.3 is about fully charged. Oh, gee, actually, I think it's, I'm trying to remember, but 1.3 is probably a high setting for a rechargeable, so that should be in good shape. And what we're going to do here is grab the door cell in a second with my hand. Okay, so what we have here is the door cell now. We'll try to get that here. So I'm just trying to hold the battery and do all this with one hand. So you can see when I had it on there, 1.6. Okay, so that was the same voltage as the dollar store battery. And we're gonna go ahead and grab one of these Thunderbolt Edge batteries. So this is their newer line that is supposedly better than their other alkaline battery that they're selling. And by the way, I got these on sale for $5.99. So I had a coupon for $5.99 for 18 of them, which I thought was a, a fairly decent deal if they actually perform. So we're going to just try to see the voltage on one of these. Okay, and actually I think this one said 161. 
So one six one on the Thunderbolt. So what we're gonna do now is just one by one, we're gonna put them in the charger and we're gonna start the discharge test. So we'll start with the Thunderbolt edge. And when we get the charger on, we will just go down, click down so we get the discharge mode. And then we'll hit enter and it's gonna say, what's the, the milliamp discharge? So we're gonna set that to 300 and we're gonna hit enter. So that one's gonna start. Then next to it, we'll put the door cell. So we'll put that in the charger. And it's gonna come over here and it's gonna say, what do you wanna do? And we're gonna to go to discharge. We're gonna do the same exact thing. We're gonna set it to 300 and we're gonna start that. Then next we'll go with the Sunbeam, which is the dollar store version. We're gonna put that in and come back over here. We'll go to discharge, hit enter, set it to 300, hit enter. And that's charging. And lastly, we're going to take the rechargeable from Harbor Freight, which is their Thunderbolt Magnum line. And we're going to put that in. And we'll hit discharge, enter. And we'll go to 300 and we'll hit enter. So now what we'll do is we will monitor all these. And I'm going to have to cut in and out of this video because I'm not going to stand here and talk for a few hours, because that's how long this job's gonna take here. Basically, if you take the total uh, amperage of the battery, you know, in that case, the Thunderbolt was 2.2 amps or 2200 milliamps, and if you take uh, the 300 milliamp discharge rate and divide that into the total capacity, you'll see that it's gonna, it should, these should last several hours. So what I'll try to do, oh, it is, uh, it's nine, 30, well, 940. We'll come back about every hour and uh, we will check in on the batteries one by one. So if you look here, we can just hit the slots so we can go to slot one and you can see the current progress so far. It's discharged um, four milliamps, it's been running for one minute and you can see the voltage on each. Uh, now it's discharged five minutes. Then we'll jump to slot two. That's discharged six milliamps uh, it's discharging at a 300 milliamp uh, rate, and it's been discharging for two minutes, and that voltage is 1.3. You know, then we'll jump over here, uh, which is the slot, the door cell slot. Uh, same thing. It's been running two minutes, 1.35, and then we'll come over to the first one, which is the edge, and you can see that's discharged nine milliamps at 301 milliamp rate for two minutes, and it's down to 1.36 volts under that load. So again, uh, we'll cut back in when we have an hour up. Okay, I'm back and it's a little over an hour and we'll just go through each of these slots so you can see. So 346 milliamp hours it drained on the first battery, the Sunbeam 346 milliamp hours, the door cell 348, and the Harbor Freight Edge 348. So, uh, uh, basically, if this does hold 2200 milliamps, this sh in theory should last around seven hours, but I really see this test finishing, you know, with these other batteries, probably around four to five hour mark. So, uh, we'll cut back in when we get a little closer to, I don't know, maybe around 1300 milliamp hours drained because I think that's, they're probably all not gonna last much more than 1300. Some might surprise us, or who knows, but we'll check back in later. All right guys, so here we are, one o'clock. It's a little over two hours, and we'll just come down and we'll go through each slot here. Okay, so the first slot, which is the Harbor Freight Rechargeable, you can see it's been running almost 200 minutes. It's 114 volts. And it's uh, taken out 900 and some uh, milliamps there. So we'll go into slot uh, <clears throat> two, which is the Sunbeam dollar store. 902 milliamps taken out of it. And the, notice the voltage, 0 0.98. There's not much left in that. Then let's go to slot three. This is the door cell, around the same thing. 907 milliamps taken out of it and its voltage is 106 it's doing pretty good and then let's go into the last one the thunderbolt edge 905 milliamps taken out of it 
and let's look at the voltage 104 so looking at these the Duracell and the Thunderbolt Edge appear to be neck and neck at this stage uh, or very close to it maybe the slight edge to the Duracell but uh, we'll come back here again in an hour or two and we should uh, see where these are the Sunbeam may be finished up at that point uh, but we'll see Okay, so here we are almost 3 o'clock, and let's take a look. So we've got the rechargeable Harbor Freight at 112. One, let's go back to there. So we dis discharged one, almost 1,400 milliamps, and the voltage is at 1.12. Now let's go to the Sunbeam. About the same milliamps, 1,400. And let's check the voltage on that. We're 0.90, we're pretty low there. So let's go over here to the door cell. We're about the same, 1440. And let's take a look at the voltage. And the voltage is 0.97. And we'll go to the edge, 1437 milliamps discharged. And let's look at the voltage, 0.98. So the edge is actually now doing a little bit better than the door cell, as far as voltage is concerned. And I'm surprised that the dollar store sunbeams uh, are hanging in there. You can see that the voltage on the sunbeam dollar store is at 0.90 and there ain't much left in that. So uh, it'll be interesting to see 1.21. I think it actually might have been done. Let's just check. Yes, if you, if you look there, that's why the voltage went back up. So the total capacity of the Sunbeam, as we tested, is 1,437 milliamps. So that battery's done, and you can see it on the uh, charger. It's completely discharged. So that one finished first, which means it has the lowest capacity. And the uh, door cell and edge are still going, and the rechargeable, which I expected, uh, would be still going. Now remember, it's rechargeable is rated at uh, 2200 milliamps, so it should outlast uh, the other two, but I really don't know. Uh, when I put it away, I charged it, but it was probably sitting for a, a good month or two, so it's possible that it did discharge some. So uh, we'll come back in a little bit, and uh, hopefully these will all be done. All right, guys, it's 10 after 4, and just want to show you we got two more batteries that have finished up and that's the door cell and the Thunderbolt Edge. So the door cell put out 1769 milliamps and it went for 386 minutes and the Thunderbolt Edge did 1785 and it went for 390 minutes. So 769, 785. The Edge outlasted the door cell by a little bit. And you can see the Thunderbolt uh, rechargeable is still going and we'll cut back in when that finishes. All right, everyone, the final battery has completed. And if you look, just start over here. So we almost got 2000 milliamps, just slightly under the 2200 rated. And it went for 428 minutes. Now keep in mind, this was uh, in storage for over a month. So that wasn't bad, actually, out of that. And the Sunbeam didn't do that bad, actually. Uh, you know, the Duracell and the Thunderbolt Edge were almost identical in uh, performance. You can see, let's just go through them here. So this is the dollar store. So it did 1,437 milliamp hours. The door cell did 769 milliamps and the Thunderbolt Edge did 1,785 milliamps. So uh, as far as uh, the best capacity to the worst, this was the best. And again, this is the rechargeable then the Thunderbolt Edge, and then the door cell, and then the Sunbeam, okay? So uh, all in all, I would have to say the Thunderbolt Edge 
seemed to slightly outperform the Duracell, and I would probably recommend it uh, using it. Now I don't know as far as long term if these batteries leak. Some of the other Thunderbolt batteries from Harbor Freight do leak. I know the heavy duty ones definitely leak. I just had one leak on me the other day. I really don't have their alkaline battery to test. Uh, I would have loved to compare the two of them to see which uh, hopefully the Thunderbolt Edge uh, performed a little better. But you could probably find a couple reviews out there that do a uh, milliamp hour drain uh, to see how well that particular one performed.